last time. Okay. Bro, do not, like do you. not doubt the power of Buka Buka. I do doubt it. We, we are talking. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Topsy is not walking away with two wins. Your streak I... ends here. Will I go undefeated? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, undefeated. <sighs> undefeated. What can I say? What is this bullshit? What can I say? The Topsy difference, you know? Built different. That's the topsy difference, boy. Can I get a round of booty claps in the chat? Will I ever win? It's time to do 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 Hey guys, it's Topsy here. As you can see from the new intro, our progression series is going to be moving on from a four person series to now a three. Hopefully we can get our good buddy guests involved in future projects. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. All right then, so here we are at the wheel and let's go ahead and take a quick look at what exactly we're trying to pull from. So, like last time, I would not mind a Secret Rare Ticket, a Structure Deck uh, Single, and or the plus 6 packs for the upcoming set of Magic Rulers. So with that being said, let's hope we get one of those three. And let's give it a spin. Alright, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's stopping, and... Oh! <laughs> now this is interesting. All right then, so after taking a quick look at both Starter Deck Yugi and Starter Deck Kaiba, I think I've come up with a decision. This was a surprisingly difficult decision to make. There was quite a few good options for me to go into. One of the first cards that came to mind was going ahead and getting another copy of Change of Heart. It's just incredibly powerful and as we move forward throughout the series, as long as this card remain legal, it's going to be a menace. Additionally, there are cards like Dark Hall. I could get my place out of them, which would put me ahead of everyone else. Not only that, but we could even get a copy of Summon Skull, which would be very powerful, all things considered. However, given that we're going to be going into Magic Rulers for today's episode, I think that the most fitting card for me to pick up for from Starter Deck Yugi would be a copy of Monster Reborn. There's going to be a lot of hand ripping cards going in forward, and if the guys get any of them, I want to have as many ways as possible to get my monsters from the graveyard. With that being said, let's go ahead and lock in Monster Reborn. Topsy, I am not going to lose to you again. This time, you are going down by my hand. I lost twice to that Femboy vegetable. I'm not taking another loss. Anyway, I made it to second place, and it's all thanks to Bear who dapped me up and made some beautiful content. If you don't know what I mean by dap me up, go check out the video on my channel where I showed off my uh, semifinals duel against him. And I, I just love making memes off this shit. This is probably one of the best series that i've had so far as far as like recording editing stuff like that it's been great but anyway we are done with metal raiders we are heading into spell ruler or magic ruler whatever you want to call it but there's a lot of interesting cards here we're getting into what i would like to say is the floater meta which is one card gets destroyed and we bring out another card which pretty much is just going to be a repeat so we're looking at things like Giant Rat. I believe UFO Turtle is another one. These are two very good floaters. I think I'm going to want Giant Rat more. They are rares, so that's good. But there's also some other meme cards that I'm definitely going to be wanting to get a hold of. We'll also be looking at uh, Physical Space Bike, Typhoon, uh, Giant Churnade. There's a whole lot of interesting cards here. We're going to see what I can come up with. But if I'm going to get those, I think I'm going to want the six extra packs which is going to be very interesting so with that being said spin the wheel okay a super rare ticket i need to figure out exactly what super rares i have access to i think i know exactly what card i'm going to want and that would be tribute to the doom so i could definitely use that for removal i can make it to where the best monster is removed for 
anything, really. This could be very good. I have to see what I could really do for this card, like what I'm willing to discard. But I like this. Yeah, I'm going with that. So my super rare is Tribute to the Doom. All right, guys, we're on Magic Rulers. But first, we got to spin the wheel. Last episode was a doozy. I honestly should be at second place wheel, but, you know, that's what happens when you trust your friends and then Push X just decides to burn you alive for allowing him another turn. But, you know, that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and see if we land on the wheel. Luckily, we, uh... We get better stuff, I'm pretty sure, so let's see what we land on here. Cloning <laughs> ticket. Ooh. I need to double check what this is. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. Um. Alrighty then, so for today's episode, we're going to be opening up Magic Rulers, or as we know it today, Spell Rulers. So... As you can see right off the jump, this set is going to be monumental moving forward. Not only does this set include some of the best spell cards we've ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, we also get a ton of very, very usable monsters in the lower rarity section. So let's go ahead and begin by discussing the rares. Off the jump, we can see that the elemental recruiters are all in the rare section. Those of course being Flying Kaminari, Giant Red, Mother Grizzly, Mystic Tomato, Shining Angel, and UFO Turtle. All these cards have their own unique niches, with Mystic Tomato being the best one right off the jump, because of cards like Sangan and Witch of the Black Forest. Not only that, but we also have cards like Nimamamanga and Giant Germ as two annoying swarmers that we have access to as well. These cards are great on their own for any stall strategy or whenever you just need a bunch of monsters on your field. Additionally, we also have cards like Senju of the Thousand Hands. If you wanted to, you could realistically build a ritual deck, but it's not recommended. But the best card, the Crim of the Cramp, in the rare section is Cyberjar. It baffles me at the thought that this card made it into the rare section, and you know what? We are going to be doing everything in our power to get as many copies of this card. This is one of the most powerful flip monsters to be introduced, and it's going to be... I think it's going to be meta warping. And honestly, a very worthy candidate of getting limited in our ban list. Moving on to the super rare section, we can see that we have some other great choices here as well. We have cards like Giant Trunade, Confiscation, Painful Choice, uh, eh, you know, Mahavilo is cute, but these three cards alone are extraordinarily powerful. Confiscation in particular is going to be really annoying for players that end up picking it up, because it's able to just rip cards out of your opponent's hand, and it's not the only one in this set. Additionally, we also have cards like Messenger of Peace that can be very annoying, and you know what, knowing Push... I feel like he might be trying to uh, fiend after this. As for the Seeker Rares, there's nothing to be desired here. These cards are both horrendous. Now for the Ultra Rares. The Ultra Rare section is absolutely cracked. We have cards like the Forceful Sentry. We have Snatch Deal, Mystic Space Typhoon, Megamorph, Delinquent Duo, and yes, even Relinquished. All these cards are very powerful. These five in particular are insane. And honestly, if you get lucky, you could build a pretty powerful and consistent Relinquished deck, but I wouldn't hold my breath. And honestly, Axe of Despair and Spellbinding Circle aren't half bad on their own either. But now let's talk about the common section. The common section actually has quite a bit to offer as well. We have cards like Sonic Birth that keep, keep facilitating the ritual strategy. We have cards like Hain Hain, I guess you can get more chances of getting him. Spear Crane, really annoying install strategies. Um, let's go on a bit more. We have cards like Chain Energy, Horrendous for Burn, uh, Okazi, I mean, I'm sure the guys will probably make this work, and Malevolent Lesnar is going to be one of the best equip spells moving forward. Not only that, but we also have Upstar Goblin as a consistency piece. As you can see, Magic Rulers is going to be very, very hype. And honestly, if I don't pull well in this set, um, it's definitely a worthy candidate for using my Time Wizard Ticket. But well, with that being said, let's get to pulling. All right then, so 24 packs of Magic Rulers coming up. Uh, oh baby, our first copy of Mystic Tomato. We would love to see that. Okay, so as I said, I want to see as many copies as possible of Mystic Tomato. And um, of course, I want to see all the hand-ripping cards. Those are going to be phenomenal. Ooh, a copy of Senju. Not bad at all. 
Spear Cretan isn't that bad, honestly. Especially if they don't have anything in their graveyard and we have some good shit in the graveyard. This could be a good card, so cool. Alright. We got an upstart goblin. Thank god that's a common. Draw power is also very much appreciated. What do we got here? Toll? Okay, so we are memeing right there. Karate Man? That's also another decent meme. Wall Shadow? That is basically useless right now. Mmm. No, Serpent Night Dragon really isn't even interesting. Not a whole lot. The toll is kind of cool, though. Let's see. Messenger of Peace. Oh, man. Do we want to be that guy and play this card? We'll see. Mystic Tomato. Okay, so that's actually a good one. Yeah, so we're getting some decent ones. Mystic Tomato, Shining Angel. Love to see it. Everything else? Eh. So we have a play set of Upstart Goblin, and we have Malevolent Nuzzles, or Nuzzler. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. Okay, another Labyrinth Wall. Another Mystic Tomato. That's big. I like that. That's big. Another Malevolent Nuzzler as well. Um, oh my god. We pulled a Seeker Rare Serpent Night Dragon. Oh, that's bleak. Okay. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. This card's broken as shit. Oh my god. We got a Forceful Sentry. Just, there's a reason why this card's banned. Um, look at your opponent's hand. Select one card amongst them and return it to the deck. You gain information and you return a card so they're at a disadvantage. I don't think there's a better card we could have pulled, so I'm cool with that. And we get another Mystic Tomato, so we're looking solid. Okay, another Labyrinth Wall. Axe of Despair. Ooh, that is sick. That is seriously good. Okay, that may have saved this run, along with Horn of the Unicorn. Ooh. We get like a Maha Vilo. If we can get a Maha Vilo, that'd be sick. Honestly, this um this has been kind of an underwhelming pack pool. Not all that much to talk about, really. You're shitting me. A second serpent night dragon? Oh my god. I don't know, guys. I think we might have to do use one of our time with your tickets on this set. We haven't pulled anything of note. You're joking. Tell me you're joking. First two Super Night Dragons and now a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon? We have Spellbinding Circle as an Ultra Rare, which is kind of sad, but it is protection, so we'll take it. Giant Germ. Okay, and Messenger of Peace. If we can get more Giant Germs, that'll be great. Messenger of Peace is a great pull, though. May not be using that ticket after all. Yeah, wow. This was a pathetic pulling of the set um yeah no we cannot no we cannot go move forward with this yeah i think we have to cash in one of our time wizard tickets all right all right 24 more packs of this set let's go all right let's try that one more time all right flip all right we have spear cream we have upstart goblin all right um there's mystic tomato nice and another upstart perfect I need another giant germ at this point, though. There we go. We pulled that other giant germ. Yes. Play set of Mystic Tomato is awesome to see. Okay, there's another Mystic Tomato. That's perfect. We have two now. Ooh, Maha Vilo. And is that our third tomato? Yes, that is our third tomato. Okay. Maha Vilo is very nice. Um, Let's see if we can get any more copies of it. I would love to play this card. Oh, Black Pennant, and another Ceremonial Bell. Dark Zebra once again. What did the Spear Queen do? This card is sent for the graveyard after being flipped. Each player selects one monster from the graveyard and special summons it in face up attack or face down defense. Oh, this is Monster Reborn. After being flipped, sent to the graveyard. So that's just like, ooh, I have ideas with that. That's dirty. Oh. Banisher of the Light is an interesting card that I forgot to mention during the pack opening, which allows us to banish any cards whenever they leave the field. Hmm, worth considering, I guess. Spellbinding Circle, okay, you know, 
All things considered, this pack opening is going significantly better than the last. A uh, black pendant, not bad. Uh, oh, there we go. Cyber jar. We got at least one copy of it. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not recording this now. Um, we still got our three copies of uh Mystic Tomato, Messenger of Peace, okay, Nemo Manga. Only one of that, so uh, okay, that's enough tomatoes. We don't need any more. Oh, Ooh, it's over. It's over, guys. Wrap it up. I won this. I won this match. It, it's done. Another cyber jar and the forceful sentry. Oh, I guess he uh he missed this too much. All right, and last up. Okay, yeah. Um, definitely a much better opening this time around. We actually have some bangers that we can work with. Okay, yeah. No, I, it might actually be a done deal for today's episode. Let's get into the deck build. god last pack magic holy shit and we have a confiscation essentially we have two cards that can just discard our opponent's hand we missed out on a magical hat but that's fine and i feel like this is solid we don't need to do a wheel spin or anything i'm totally happy with what we have so we're going to go ahead and add that to our, our collection and then we're going to go ahead and check out what that wheel spin does Wait, let me look at my last cards. Mystic, okay. Eternal rest, destroy all monsters equipped with spell cure. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely have ideas. All right. I'm definitely gonna keep this now that I've looked at it. All in all, I think I have an interesting strategy. And the fact that I got things like Axe of Despair, Messenger of Peace, Black Pennant, and all of the equips. This is definitely going to be interesting. I like the looks of this. So anyway, that's my pulls. Go ahead and stay tuned for what my deck is going to look like in the episode. You ain't going to want to miss this. Okay, so here's my deck for today's episode. And as you can see, I, I cooked a little here. So for today's episode, we're going to be running up with <laughs> Crab Turtle Turbo. And you know what i feel like we're in such a comfortable lead right now in the series that i can afford to get a little silly with it and i did mention i i kind of hinted at the fact that we might try to play like a ritual strategy even though it's not like the best thing we could be doing and here's what we ended up coming up for today's episode so let's go ahead and go over the card by card so we can explain why exactly we're playing the cards we are so off the jump, we're still playing our Summon Skull, just because it's the best card in the format, alongside Seven Color Fish, it's our biggest monster we have access to, or Mystic Tomatoes to give us access to our floaters like Sangen and Witch. Um, let's see, what else should we talk about? Alright, and that's like pretty much the generic stuff we have access to. After that, we're going to be playing our two Ritual Searchers, uh, the one copy of Senju and our three copies of Sonic Bird. We only get ended up getting one copy of Senju, which is kind of a bummer, but it's it's whatever. Uh, we did get three copies of Crab Turtle, so it'll be fine. And uh, we're playing as many copies of Sonic Bird because we only ended up pulling two copies of Turtle Oath, which is interesting. Furthermore, we are playing cards like Wall of Illusion, Spear Cretin, Man Eater Bug, and Moth, which are just good in their own regards. Uh, Spear Cretin is just a phenomenal card to be able to recur our floaters and or our other flip monsters like moth man eater etc not only that but we're also playing cyber jar so here's the thing this deck is very clunky just because it needs a lot of things to make the ritual aspect of it work because what well, rituals are just built they're not built well so cyber jar here is uh, meant to be both a power play where we are just, just able to nuke the field but also a consistency piece that gets us access to a whole new hand which is extraordinarily powerful not only that, but we can also reset its effect with Spear Cretan, which is insane. Uh, and that's pretty much the monster lineup. I think this should be incredibly fun to play, and I can't wait to summon Crab Turtle on them. Now for the spells. We're essentially playing every power spell we have access to. Um, and honestly, looking at this now, it looks filthy. Like, yeah, we have some like stinkers like Turtle's Oath, but we have to play it. But besides that, everything is just like ridiculous. And I, I just do not know how we'd lose this. And uh, to wrap up the deck, we are playing a couple of trap cards. Honestly, we could do without cards like Spellbinding Circle, but you know what? We ended up pulling it and why not? We'll, we'll play it. 
Um, maybe we need to keep something alive and it'll come up. Honestly, all I can say is that this deck is so hype and I'm so excited to try it out. All right, guys, I hope you're ready because I'm coming in hot with that crap turtle. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so as you can see, we've sort of shifted away from a zombie strategy a little bit here. And that's a big part due to Mystical Tomato or Mystic Tomato. So we're able to search out our Sangan and we're able to search out the Mass Sorcerer and the Wall of Illusion. And I think that already alone is pretty solid. I believe we can do another Mystic Tomato also and just keep it on going. Um, so I'm cool with that. And you'll notice that every single card here is now a dark type for our Mystic Plasma Zone, which we have three of. So every dark monster um, will get 500 plus attack. So we have pretty much every single of those dark except the Jirai Gumo and the Maneater Bug. But um, most of the time, I don't think we're going to have anything that will even beat over this. We have so many spell and traps because of Flash Assailant. So if we get a spell trap, we'll set everything we can to make sure this guy gets beefy as he can be. And if we're in top deck mode, this guy is going to come in clutch, I'll tell you that. Especially with a Mystic Plasma. He's going to tie with a Summon Skull. And uh, yeah, and then we just have a bunch. And then we also have Whiptail Crow, which has a good amount of attack. 1650 isn't bad. We have another Tribute. Instead of the Pumpkin King, that's 2,000, so this will match Summon Skull. This, unfortunately, won't match Summon Skull. I wish we had two of these guys, but we don't. But we have an, the Pumpkin King as here to stay for one more turn. That's partially because of Change of Heart and Soul Exchange. So we're going to be taking our opponent's monsters and trying to tribute them. And then I found out what our ticket did, so we can just copy any card from our opponent's decks. We know they're all playing Pot of Greed. I added a Pot of Greed because I'm feeling gritty, you know? Hit the gritty, I'm feeling greedy. Um, and then we're running all of our generic good spell and traps, including some new ones like Confiscation and the Forceful Sentry, which are just beasts of cards that's going to make it so if we're in the lead, they're not going to be able to come back. We're focusing on attack power, this strategy, searching attack power and just going ham. So yeah, we're, we're looking pretty solid. We are also running some attack boosting cards like Malevolent Nuzzler, Rush Recklessly. So, and we have a couple of board clears. We got rid of our Fissures, but I feel like we have a Regeki, we have a Dark Hole, and we'll be able to attack over most of these guys. And we have Change of Heart. So, we're essentially going for super mega beatdown. So, we're looking pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling pretty good about this deck. I'm going to test it out and make sure it's all good. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're rocking, and uh, good luck to the guys, because I feel like they're going to need it. All right, peace. Okay, I'm in. Oh, oh, so we're starting off with, with the rematch already, huh? Boom. Oh, so there this we is are. what we're going to do, huh? Mm-hmm, this is what we're doing. All right, let's see. You're oh, so man. eager to lose. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, right, well, push. let's do this. All right, nice little high Candies. fives. <laughs> uh. hmm. Okay, so yeah. go ahead, do me a favor. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, I whoa, know 60 what you... cards? <laughs> what the fuck? What the? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Push. <laughs> Triple swords. Tri He's playing all the floodgates oh with the burn cards. Dude, that's I, what I want. yeah, that's what I'm assuming. I'm like, no, he went Joker mode. Like, this is oh. <laughs> he was cooking oh. in the lab. <laughs> Be careful what you do here, Topsy. Uh huh. Okay. So I'm gonna what know what your here? fucking strategy is. Yeah, what the fuck are you gonna do, dude? <laughs> okay. So here's oh, my thought right now. Don't worry about what I'm gonna <clears> do. <throat> Just. Make sure you play your cards close to the chest. Okay. Not so, that it'll help. <laughs> all right, buddy boy. So what my read is right now, you could have a Cyber Jar set. You could have a Spear Cretan set, but that won't do much. <laughs> you could have a Why Recruiter am I gonna set. Do a spear Why am I going to do a Spear Cretan if I don't have anything in the graveyard? Exactly. That's You know, I'm just rolling out all the options. Or you could have a, like a Recruiter set, like a Tomato, a Rat, an Angel. So 
what I'm gonna do here is well, we're I'm gonna in go the, ahead. We're in the true floating. We're gonna go in dark hole right now. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, is Let's it? A, what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Oh, All right. Okay. Ooh, right. We're gonna we're summon going Mystic way, Tomato. Okay. Yes, he played the actual tomato. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 14 direct. There. All right. I'm going okay. to lose this, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Nice. Okay, is that another ceremonial bell right there? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and we'll go with the greedy jar. Okay. All right. Ooh. <laughs> We'll I like how bears thing. like oh <laughs> yeah all right let's see what do we got going on here so is it yep show me there. that hand boy let me look at it Ooh, we got a spear cream we got crab turtle we got fisher <laughs> we got monster reborn yeah Ooh, he's got sword and shield Ooh. he does interesting <laughs> that i do you want to know what else I have? <laughs> you have told. <laughs> oh god, I knew it. You're on this bullshit. Okay. Okay. That's it. I broke him. <laughs> you should have attacked with Bell first, then put that in now. <laughs> 500. Solid. Ooh, that's a beefy right. bell. The chunker, that's a big guy. The big boy. That's the big bell. It's a big old, it's a big old chunker. Thank God that thing is light. It's a big, <laughs> it's a big old chunker that ain't gonna do shit next turn. Right, we'll take, we'll activate the effect. Let's get a nice little, we'll get which. Then not the deck. Yep. Ew. <laughs> All right. Oh, what man. the fuck is I... this bullshit? Fisher, oh. right, Yaki? I wonder what he's gonna do. <laughs> Cyber jar. This motherfucker. Yep. In special We're summon playing these. level four or lower monsters. I mean, okay. The, the sure. format's been changed. Yep. Yeah, I feel like Cyber Jar is gonna be an immediate ban. <laughs> I didn't even get one. Neither did I. They just want Topsy to be the villain of his own series. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, no. Some color fish. All right, I'm back. Nice, nice, nice. Holy fuck! I'm gonna search for decent handy witch. out there. It's pretty all right. All right, and with that, we're gonna add a copy of Sonic Bird. He's playing the ritual pile. Normal bird, activate effect. Well, we got responses right now? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> Turtle's oath. He gonna play crab. <laughs> He's gonna play that crab. He go he gonna give us crabs, man. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Can crab. I actually I might be able crab. to win this? No, you won't. Alright, let me see. Alright. Turtle's oath. Oh, Mm-hmm. Lay your damn crab. An aqua, that's interesting. What's he reborning? He shimmin' yep. good. Oof. You Playing are some saucy a, cards. You know you know what? Fuck you, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Not nah, my Fizzle, turtle. Bitch. Fizzle, bitch! <laughs> you didn't even last a turn. <laughs> so, so I'm dead, right? 
Yeah. I think. We have it's a like six the... turn duel? On well, he said three? main phase one, so we'll see. <clears throat> Bullshit. Oh. Bush is just trying to be fun, man. <laughs> Never. All right. Damn, I misplayed the last wall. Okay, no one's ever gonna play last wall correctly. I didn't activate it on, uh, correctly. It was supposed to be during like main phase one only or something. Alright. We have another toll. He's just gonna set monsters. What the fuck? Ooh. Ah. This guy. Mm-hmm. Gonna normal summon Sonic Bird. Like it would be a fish. Yeah. You got another turtle? What? Oh, normal or flip. Okay. HP bullshit. I put <laughs> Sonic Bird in my Makanko piles. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and. So it says uh, the attack of Namajima. Each standby phase. Okay. You're gonna enter battle. <laughs> the burn. I know. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Mirror Force came out this set, right? Uh, it was. Wasn't it, it Metal Raiders? I think was it, it was. the last one? Yeah, oh, I think it was Metal Raiders. One. Yeah. That we know of. Well, at least I don't got to worry about that. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what can I say? Topsy's Bullshit. too good. I'm too good. I'm too good at this game. <laughs> Topsy difference. The Topsy oh, difference. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bear. You ready to get You're your ass match. whooped? Get ready for this. Get ready for this push. You're gonna love this one. Oh fuck! Hey, I'm not I ready for this. I'm I hate my decks. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out what your best cards are and say no, fuck that <laughs> card and fuck that card. Yeah, oh, you're gonna definitely want to pay attention to what I'm playing. <laughs> well, I'm oh, already okay. thinking about banning Cyberjar. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's, that's fair. Not the worst yeah. one. That's I'm getting it. Card. I am get after that duel. I am minimum getting one ban. Yeah. Yeah. True. It's just Topsy's there's gonna be a lot of options rock. after you see this. <laughs> All right. Well, Ooh, it, it's time. a matter of do I want to fuck High Bear five. or do I want to fuck Topsy? Do you want to well, fuck he's me? The, he's the VTuber, so. <laughs> I mean, femboy and all that. <laughs> there we go. Damn it. <laughs> I ain't Ooh, gay, so but $20 is $20. <laughs> 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 all right. Just start with a simple, simple sets. Oh, wow. wow. Come in. Come on. Come on. No, come on. You know. Wait, no. He's I'm waiting for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's going to find out what your Our hand pot. is. We're going to start with a little bit of pot here. A little bit of pot. All right. All right. A little bit of pot. Just I dig it. I dig it. A little bit of that Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> mm. Yo, you think Snoop would play? You think Snoop would be a Yu Gi Oh fanatic? <laughs> That'd be funny, honestly. Like, it, it, you you know if Snoop, you know if Snoop is like a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, he would definitely have like a pot of greed, but he would definitely try to do something different with it. It's just an ash. What the fuck? <laughs> Discount mystical space typhoon. <laughs> Only because of the card art. Tomato Ooh. violence. We Hold make tomato and tomato, tomato violence. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're gonna go main phase See, two. Mm -hmm. I have to ask, how yeah. many, did, how many of each of these cards did you guys get? Tomato, I have three tomato, tomato. Tomato, I got three. Yeah, I got yeah, eight of them. I only got one rat and one uh, turtle. We're gonna normal summon. I got a good, good amount of searchers. I got a good amount of searchers. Well, like, I have I have witch. I had a shit ton of witch. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to just draw the hell out of my deck 
and I was gonna stall the fuck out of you guys. All right. Hey, go ahead, buddy. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm not gonna draw the one card that I would need to actually beam around and fight. <laughs> oh, all right. If you oh, if you think that my stall strategy is bad with Toll, you don't know what the fuck I can do. Man, I was Gravity expecting time. you to like to start like shooting out like uh cards like uh what's it called like chain energy like gravekeepers um chain cemetery. Energy is a bad one. You did you did not see what I put in my fucking deck. I'm sure it was diabolical, man. I'm sure it was like like filthy. I I'm fucking I'm mad because I can't <laughs> do shit. I suck at this game. <laughs> do you guys want to hey. see something pretty filthy here? All right, what what we got going on here? All right, we're going to go ahead and activate the Forceful Sentry. Go fuck yourself. I hate you so much. You are a stupid <laughs> bitch. So, are we banning the Forceful Sentry? Oh, I am banning you every single... You should. Oh, oh yeah. Ew. It's, a, it's a nice Your hand. Your and change of heart? Okay. Your hand's better than mine. Okay. Uh, uh, change of heart hear. or dark hole. What will it be? What, would, what do you want to deal with the least? You know what? Keep well, that it's change worthless of heart. To That's take yours. The fucking turtle. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, true. Turtle oath was insane, man. That that was the hit. Honestly, you fucked up there. You know, I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna ban turtle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ban turtle. What? That was cute. <laughs> Get it out of here. I ain't That's gonna funny. lie. That might end up being like some fucking tech strategy we do for the ban list. What, hit Turtle Oath? Ban the ritual cards. <laughs> ban the ritual. If you True, ban one, you effectively ban the other. And that means if they pull it in their draws, it's a... Di well, they won't be able to pull it in their draws anymore. You're taking out two cards minimum. With one ban. Ah, okay. Okay, I see you, Bear. I see you. Mm-hmm. I'm ahead. just waiting for one of my good generic spells to get here. Oh, wait. Uh, that's okay. Generic spell my ass. Don't even. Let's see. Let's he's see he's looking for the Geki. Here. What's the most concerning one here? He's looking for his own turtle over. Yeah, true. Right. The mirror match. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... All your cards are getting boosted by my mm -hmm. Mr. Plasma, unfortunately. That's fine, though. We're gonna just summon out a tomato. Okay. Response, response. Swear to God, one no day response. I'm make, like, OP -ass deck. One and... day. You wanna give rid of the. No, no, no. That's the wrong target, man. You wanna give rid of the witch and saying, man. Nah. I'll wait yeah. until I know I can I can <laughs> deal with whatever you get off that. Definitely not witch. I don't want you getting the skull just yet, even though you probably just drew it. That's pretty good. All right, no recruiter for you. Mm, fair enough. All right, let's go sing again. Mm-hmm. And which? Damn, you know, this could be nice if he had toll right now. <laughs> <laughs> I always die from the toll, be... honestly. Like double toll was insane. Yeah. Okay. Be... Like, like I said, when me and my brother were opening up like the 25th anniversary sets with the original six packs yeah i pulled triple toll <laughs> i pulled messenger of peace that's filthy oh how many messenger I'm of pretty peace sure did you get i this also had like swords of do it how many messenger of pieces do you have right now well let's just say it's a super rare yeah i will reveal all when it comes to the deck list <laughs> <laughs> Keep your secrets. I think I got. I think I got the shittiest hand I could have gotten. It's so sad. It's so Either sad. Because I... this Either would have I been such a. This would have been a match, is what I'm gonna say. There. What did you say, buddy? <laughs> what do you mean? It's lasted longer than my duel. I only lasted seven turns. Hmm. I'm curious. If I play this correctly, I can probably beat you right now. Let's see. Let's try it. We're gonna. No gamble, no future. You know what they say. All right, we're gonna change your heart. That. Now, what is it you're looking for? Are you looking for? Uh oh. Oh wait. Oh wait. Change of heart. You don't get rid of the monster. But then... Okay, so that's a good one. I recommend keeping it. Yeah, I like this guy. Okay. I feel like. Econ what am I waiting on you, buddy? You got a response? 
Uh, my things like being slow, and no, I oh, don't. Okay. Oh, okay. I think it's just my Wi Fi. Gotcha. I didn't think you were gonna change a heart, it to be honest, though. You could do a normal sum and finish me off if you have it. <laughs> yep. Okay. Is that is that lethal with that? That's 3,000. 4,500. I'm dyslexic. It's I like perfectly yeah, lethal. That, that's it's perfect lethal. lethal. Perfectly. I think you're like plus 50 or, or like it's like 50 over or something. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Topsy has another yeah. clean sweep. Wow. What a shot. <laughs> Damn. Honestly, bro, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm not going to lie. I just. Oh, need, shit. Need a, Guys, need be gentle with me. Get better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, let's rock it. Let's go ahead and fist each other. Alright. <laughs> oh, and hey. I will go. Hmm. The innuendos in this episode. Usually <laughs> I would go second, but with your deck, I might opt to go first. I'm not entirely sure. But I'll go second. Man, uh, I was like that. editing the Not duel that. between um, uh, you uh, you two uh, uh, the other day, and I'm like, holy shit, this is like the longest duel, uh, and it's like the first yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's why I literally just put it in my video. I was like 20 turns yeah. later. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally did two time skips. <laughs> oh, okay. Depending on the toll. I don't like that you didn't summon a monster. Definitely not my favorite. But we're gonna go ahead and just take advantage of the fact you didn't. And we're gonna summon Mass Sorcerer. Mm. We're gonna go ahead and swing in. Just tickle you a little bit. <laughs> the innuendos in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and wait. uh oh wait, no, never mind. You might be running a dark package, I'm not entirely sure. But we'll we'll activate Mystic Plasma. And I'll end my turn. How many of this guy do you have, Bear? Uh, two. Two? Oh. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I like him. Ooh. Mm. You got a copy of that. What is this? Curse of Fiend. That's the one that uh, it switches battle positions, huh. I think. Basically, so it's only on my standby phase. So I literally mm. have to set it to begin with. It is oh, shit damn. because it is a two turn trap card. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and summon out Whip Tail Crow. Oh, okay. And we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna tickle you a little bit more here. Well, why you do you want to tickle whip me? One. Just that ain't a tickle, it's a fucking whip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a. We've gone past Tickly. This is kinky <laughs> shit now. <laughs> and then First about I it. think we'll pass. Yeah, we'll, we'll unturn there. I'm getting mad at this. <laughs> Don't fine. you fucking do it. Nah, that's fine. Fuck your card. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? What do you that... mean, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna do this. <laughs> it's gonna be the last episode again where I end up paying too much of my life <laughs> with ultimate offering. <laughs> 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 Gotta get burned no, alive again. Killed, no, no, <laughs> what killed you last episode faster was Jirai Gubo. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is a. Uh, Definitely true. Now, if you um, didn't do shit with Jirai Gumo, I still would have burned you, but I would have had to use an extra card. We're going to go ahead and normal summon Sagan. Okay. We're going to activate Ultimate Offering. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's one toll. <laughs> That's one toll that you can't pay anymore. Oh, no, it's He's still going. Man. Wait, hold on. How many fucking times can you activate that shit? There's no once per turn as on this. As you want. Yeah, but why the fuck are you gonna activate it and activate it again? Oh my god. What is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> and 
then hey, hey, uh hey you want to make content again <laughs> <laughs> the only person left with the homie draw do i look like i have himself. anything do i look like i'm a thread right now all i have is two tolls mm. he's gonna he's gonna burn himself so fucking much to do this shit. This is true. 3, yeah, I'm gonna burn myself more too. <laughs> He's played a full attack's worth of toll and more. Each monster essentially has had to pay 1500 to attack. Alright. Do we have any clue? I know he's gonna do it. He's... <laughs> He's gonna, yep, and then he's gonna go into flash assailant. <laughs> no, <Nah>, do this. Oh <laughs> <laughs> shit! Oh shit! Then uh, last one. Oh Did man. You the, uh, the stall strategy didn't work out. Alright, boys. Now that all the duels are done with, now it's time to move on to the bannings. Yes. Yeah, Topsy. This is a... I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> man, I feel like... You. I feel like my cheeks are about to get fucking obliterated right now. <laughs> oh, you gotta I worry about him. I love how he records this shit. This is gonna be like the most... <laughs> 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 Alright, okay. um, Topsy, okay. let's go ahead and start with your semi. Okay. So, after you're taking a quick look at both of your guys' decks and trying to mm -hmm. see what exactly I could do in order to, like, I guess, even the playing ground, um, I decided that I probably want to get, uh, Chain Energy Semi Limited. <laughs> You know, it's a really annoying Jeez, card. You know wanted. you, but you know you. Would. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be the semi right. limit. All right, so chain energy semi limited, perfect. All right, let's go for your limit. So my limit is gonna be, you know, I can't leave you being the only target of my, you know, wrath. So next up is bear. So we're gonna go ahead and limit his mm -hmm. change of heart. I do not like the fact that you have two of them. Yeah. So change of heart <laughs> goes to one. Uh. Well, that's a big hit. I, I think can't we play all monarchs. have change of heart. <laughs> What's that? I think I yeah. think change of heart is. But a, I'm the only uh, one with two, so that was a smart deck. hit. I'm the only one with two, so it was a smart hit. Yeah. yeah. All well, right. Those are my hits. Well, that I just pulled is an extra. Topsy's first place. So um, next we will go bear and we will do your uh, limit. All right. My limit is going to be, sorry, Topsy, Monster uh, Reborn. Reborn, mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. Monster Reborn. That's a that's evening bear. playing field. Yeah. Okay. You All had right. it for one. You had it for one, though. All mm -hmm. right. Well, now the question is, who's the first ban going to? Hmm, that, that uh, is the question. Are you ready for the ban? Are you ready for me to say which, what it is? Oh boy. Yeah. Did you guys guess it? You guys want to take a guess? No. Yeah, really. we, we know what you're going to ban. It's going to be Summon Skull, right? <laughs> Back nope. to it. It's going to be Witch of the Black Forest. Ooh. <gasps> mm -hmm. That is a heavy ban and honestly a very good one. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed which her. is <laughs> gone. Yeah. Now, the question is, what are we doing for my two bands and one limit? Yo, yeah, fuck it. We should, it should mm -hmm. just yeah, two bands, two limits. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ham. Yeah, for go ahead. for last place, two bands, two limits. Yeah. Have fun with it. Ooh. Now I gotta think of a fourth. You could just put all the bands towards tops, you know, the limits towards me. <laughs> I think I actually want to start with a ban first. Okay. Wow, going all right, I don't see it. That. Going hard. Ooh, okay. So my monarch oh. strategy or whatever tribute okay. strategy is officially I, dead. I love ultimate offering. 
but at the same time, it is way too broken in this. It game. is an insane card. I will. Admit it that. is. Man. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a limit next. Okay. And okay. this is definitely needed. We need a limit on. No, this ban card. it, ban it, ban <laughs> it. No, 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 no. Be fun. <laughs> Limited. Okay. So that would be Damn that it. would be both my bans towards Topsy. I need to mm -hmm. think about you True. as well. Okay, there. that's fair. I'm surprised you guys aren't wor aren't worried about my uh, heavy storm. Oh wait, you have one too, bro. No. Uh, yeah, we we're all worried about removal and stuff like that. But I don't know if I want to focus on back row removal or if I want to like focus on other. You're the one running burn. It's up to you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm running I mean, burn. I know that. Even though I didn't really run burn this fucking episode. <laughs> uh, I don't have heavy storm. Can I have one? <laughs> Depends. Can I break the streak? You could have mine. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. That's I'll throw my duel. Uh, let me go for my next limits. Or mm. actually. Mm. No, I'm I'm gonna do my ban. Okay, okay. No way. Yeah. <laughs> we need to we need to get out of this yeah. meta. Okay. I know you hated top. It's gonna change it up a lot. <laughs> but this but now we need to I'm really okay think it. about our sacrifices. Because oh, now man. the best sacrifices for one are like 2k at most. All right, you know, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. It's fine. Summon you skull guys hard is... hit my deck already. <laughs> Summon skull already is with a the change of heart. Deck. And then my I'm tribute, also... my tribute strategy's <laughs> gone. It's like dead. And then I need to figure out because this one was for everyone, even me included. I mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. keep doing. I mean, this fucks bear it's... the most because he has two summon skulls. This list really fucked my deck. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know what I'm going to limit. It's, it's a little hand slap to Topsy. <laughs> Which is bad. I guess which is bad. Dark Hole, yeah. Okay. I don't... So, All here's right. the thing, right? Cyber Jar at one, mm -hmm. it could bet... It, I call it more of a gamble rather than anything else. Yeah. Because he could, he yeah. could destroy my field, mm -hmm. but if he pulls no monsters and I pull something, I could win next turn. And it's right. game over. He won't be able to do ultimate offering anymore. So now Cyber Jar at one is a gamble rather than like a board clear to really kind of screw your opponent over. Mm -hmm. Dark so, Hole, I only how many do you have top two? Dark Holes, I had two of them. That's why, like, mm, I don't know if you guys have like have. whenever you duel me, like you notice how I have, have a shit ton of removal. Yeah. I have five different cards, spell mm -hmm. cards that can remove cards on your field. And that's not even including my like man eater bug mm. that can destroy monsters or my my cyber jars that can destroy monsters as well. So my deck is chock full of removal. Mm. Um, yeah. So okay. looking at this right now, I'm surprised no one hit Potter Greed. Right? It's still a two for everyone right now. Everyone has two of them. Or I, Regeki. I, I'm I, surprised uh, Regeki's not banned either. I feel like honestly, it doesn't come up as it, much. I mean, I sure, like but it's like such a powerful one of. It is. So, yeah. here's my thoughts behind Pot mm -hmm. of Greed. Right now, we're in a very slow format. This is yeah. truly just beat down back and forth. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily upset at Pot of Greed because, one, it definitely isn't coming up as often. Yeah. And, two, I mean, Pot of Greed, I don't necessarily see it being a complete game winner now. Especially with the fact that you can't just draw into more monsters and summon them automatically with ultimate offering. I feel like now we have to. But really I feel like the spell more... cards are like mm. the most problematic thing, though, right? Like, how to greed in searching into two of your like broken spells, like your mass removal or like change of heart, stuff like that. But it can it can be good, but mm. we're not necessarily in like a major combo heavy meta right now. Hey, don't I mean because... I didn't hit it either. Because, you know, mm. I, I I didn't want Bear to have two change of hearts, but. <laughs> so, I, I nobody hit any of the hand rippers. That's true. No one did do that. I mean, so... I I thought about that. If someone had, like, multiples of those, I was going to hit them. But, like, I, I, I for me, it wouldn't have done anything mm. if I, like, 
limited, right? Because like everyone has like well, not everyone, but yeah, we only have like one of them. So luckily, I pulled one one of each. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so if you hit one of them, I would add the other. Mm -hmm. This yeah, no, the list this is, is a really good list good. actually. Um, yeah, there's a this looks really like what it would be for like uh the actual TCG or something. Like mm -hmm. it looks like decent, yeah. I'd say. And with that, this concludes another episode of the progression series Fatal 3. As you can see, our deck got hit pretty severely, and we're going to have to really rethink what exactly we're going to be doing for next episode. However, we did end up winning, so I uh, can't complain too much. But if you want to stay up to date to every single episode that comes out, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single episode. But with that, I've been Topsy. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.